Oh. Hello, everybody. Good morning. We had a few technical difficulties. Sorry, we're five minutes late. It is so amazing to see you all. We are here from Grand Junction. This is your amazing creative team. We're going to be doing four activities in 40 minutes for you today. We're going to be doing some puppets. We're going to be doing some singing and some dancing and some making and some really, really fun things. We hope you've got your fancy dress on. Have loads of fun and enjoy. The first thing we're going to be doing is with Lucy. Hi everybody, this is my brilliant assistant. Hello, I'm Isla or you can call me Harry Potter. Okay, and I'm Lucy and I work at Grand Junction too. So today our first activity is going to be making some paper puppets. Very easy, very quick. Have you ever seen a paper puppet before? Here it comes, let me just let you see the whole thing, here it comes. So, you can make your very own paper puppet. Hello, my name is Paper Puppet. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make a paper puppet, and then we're gonna look at how we can give them some really fun voices. So to get our acting juices warmed up so you're ready to give your puppet a voice, we're gonna do a very quick little warm up. So find yourself a little bit of space if you can, wherever you are, and what I'd like you to do is I'm going to do a funny voice and a funny action and I would like you to copy it back to me. Okay, you'll get the idea as soon as we get going. And Isla's going gonna, Isla's gonna to join in to give you the idea of what we need to do. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I can see you at home. Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. Banana! Banana! What's yours? Rhubarb! Let's all try that one. Rhubarb! Okay, I think we've got our acting voices warmed up, so I think we are ready to make the paper puppet. So, you will see, this is my very simple paper puppet. All you need is an A4 paper, if you've got some of that. If you happen to have some newspaper or some brown packing paper, they also work really, really well, but plain paper, I think, is probably the thing most people have at home. So, what we're gonna do is you're also gonna need some tape. Could be sticky tape would be best, but masking tape would work okay. And you could use a bit of string, but that'll take you a little bit longer. So I'd go for the tape if you have it. So, getting your piece of paper, what works really well is to get it all scrunched up first. That works much better. So let's scrunch it up. Okay, now you're scrunching that one up for me. Okay, fantastic. So get a couple of pieces scrunched up into a, into a nice ball for me. Okay, you're, doing, you're preparing those ones for me. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And then get your two pieces that you've scrunched up. And work them together into what will be the body of your puppet. Can you see that's gonna be the body of your puppet? Then, I'll just leave those there, brilliant. Then get yourself some tape, some of your sticky tape, and just work it round your body, just to hold all of the paper in place. Probably one diagonal one way, and then a diagonal, can you see there, going, going the other way. So you're just holding your body together okay so you've got a body already amazing okay next thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make some arms it's so simple and quick to make arms scrunch up your paper first open up your paper then simply tear down the middle but don't go all the way to the end leave yourself 
And then, you're to open, use that to open up the a tarp into one nice long strip, like so. And you see that? Now, we want the detail of some lovely little hands for your puppet. So you just take a little bit at the end there, just squeeze it in to make a sweet little hand for your puppet. And if you've got some tape, get some tape and then just hold that in place by wrapping the tape around your puppet's little hand. And then you do the same for the other hand. Give it a, just to, so we see that the puppet has a nice hand there. Okay, you've got some arms. All it needs is a body now. Right, so you take your body, place it onto the, onto the top, top of the body, roughly, you know, where arms would go across shoulders. And then, thank you, assistant, you just tape that on in the best way that you can. The great thing about paper puppets is there's no right and wrong. Just, just work it out as you go along. As long as it stays in place, you can scrunch the paper to get it into a good position. So I'd say you want a couple of bits of tape there to make sure it's held on nice and tightly when you start moving it. We have a body. Take those arms. We've got some arms. Now we need some legs. So for your legs, you're gonna need two pieces of paper. Scrunch up one. Oh yeah, get it nice and scrunched up. There we go. Scrunch up another. And then with your two scrunch bits, join them together, cross them over, get some more tape. Oh, sorry, assistant. And wrap the tape round the middle to get them together. And then just gonna move your hands down. And then when you get to the end, like we did with the hands, make yourself some nice feet. Can you see I've made some nice feet there and if I just tip this down here so you can see my feet are going to be able to walk. There we go. Right now the big moment. Now don't do what I did earlier and tape the um, legs to the wrong end of the body. Make sure they're at the opposite end from your arms. Join them together and then the best thing you can do is kind of loop underneath. That's it. Loop underneath. There we go, and get it, get it up there like that. I mean, you probably would want to add more bits of tape later just to make him nice and secure. But for now, for now, I think that, that that's good. Now, oh, hold on a minute. He's nearly ready, she's nearly ready, but something's missing. Ah, a head. Now, you can either use another bit of paper for your head, or if you did have some newspaper or some brown packing paper, that works really nice. Or oh, some tissue paper I can see Ella is using. Very nice, Ella. Scrunch that up. And then get one more piece of tape and just use your tape there to secure it around. Very nice. And then see if you can pull a little bit out there. Can you get a little hold of a little bit at the bottom? Just pull a bit out. And that's gonna be your neck, okay? And you're gonna use that to tape it onto the body. Now again, like I said, there's no right and wrong here. Find a little bit of your paper at the top of the body, attach the head onto that, get yourself some more tape, and get that tape around in a nice circle. You probably want, just to be make it nice and strong, it would be terrible if you started making your puppet do lovely things and then the head fell off. So just get another, get another bit of tape around there just to make sure he's a, a lovely, strong puppet. There we go. Okay, so there we are. Don't worry if you haven't finished yours yet. You can finish it off later. But if you have, stand your puppet up nice and tall. Now we've got two puppets here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get Isla to help me here with my puppet. Would you help me with mine? So let's just put that on down. She's going, it's really good. If you've got two people at home, one could do the legs and one person could hold on to the back of the head and the arm and do the arms. And you can get them to say something. So now you can bring your brilliant acting voices back in. Let's see what our puppet's going to say. Hello, everybody at home. I am so delighted that you, yes, you, that's you at home, 
have helped me by making some friends. I was so lonely, but now I have friends and it, it makes my heart feel so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I hope you guys can have lots of fun later giving your puppets funny voices, get them, make more than one, get them to talk to each other, have lots of fun. So now we are going to hand over for our next fun activity, we're going to hand over to Joe! Hello! Hello, hello everybody! It's so nice to see you Lucy, I love those puppets. We're going to play with that later on today, thank you for that. So, first thing we're going to do, I've got a kazoo here, you might have one lying around, if not you can do it with a funny noise with your mouth. I'm going to kazoo you a song and you have to guess what song it is. Are you ready? <laughs> Any ideas? What song was it? Any ideas at home? Um, Old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah. Yeah. Old MacDonald had a farm. Well done. Okay. The next one. See if you can guess this one. I bet you you're going to guess this in about three seconds. <laughs> Any ideas? Isla? Happy birthday to you. Yeah! And maybe, if you're watching out there, it might be your birthday today, and if it is, that one was for you. Okay, the last one. Isaac, can you tell me? Anyone else out there know what that one might be? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yay! You did it! I bet you guys at home all knew that one as well, didn't you? Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of a vocal warm-up because I'm going to do some singing and some signing with you in a little bit. So, let's get our voices nice and warmed up. I'm going to say hello in lots of different ways and all you need to do is just copy me. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Very good. And you can carry on with that at home. Say hello. hello in lots of different accents and different ways and different emotions and different characters. See if you can come up with some at home. Okay. Do you know the song, people at home? Do you know the song? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Do you know it? Do you know it? I'm sure you might have heard of it. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of British sign language to go with the song. So. The first sign is you. So you're going to just point and say you. You are my, and sunshine, you're going to take your hand up in the sky and your hand's going to open like the sun. Sunshine. So you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. Take your hand like this. Your other hand is your one finger and it comes from behind, underneath and out in front like the only one, okay? So from the beginning, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. 
Good, brilliant out there. You make me happy. The sign for make is like that. It's like you're hammering, like you're making something. You make me happy. So you take one flat hand and the other one just brushes over. Happy when skies, so point up at the sky, and grey as you take your hand and your little finger and you make a little circle. That's the colour grey. So from the beginning. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. Perfect, everyone. Now the next line goes, you'll never know. So flat hand like that, and they have a fist, and it brushes down. And that's the sign for never. And you have to shake your head as well. You'll never know, your thumb goes to your head, like it's your brain in there, you'll never know. No. You'll never know, dear. How much? You're just gonna <gasps> make your hands really big? Because it's a lot, isn't it, that you love that person. How much I love you. And we all know that sign, we put our hands on our heart for love. Okay, and the last line goes, please, the sign for please is you put your hand on your chin and it comes forward. Please don't take. So you're going to reach forward like you're taking something, but you have to shake your head. Please don't take my sunshine. You know that one already. Sunshine. And then for away, you're just going to pull it back up. Pull it back up. Sunshine away. You know a whole song with some British sign language. Let's go it nice and do it nice and slowly from the beginning. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Brilliant, amazing everybody. You've just learned a whole song with some signing. Fantastic, right. The next activity, I'm going to pass you over to Ella. Hi. Hi everyone. I hope you're all well. Today, I am going to show you how to make a rocket. Um, so, what you are going to need is a toilet roll. Can everyone get their toilet roll ready? Okay. You are going to need a pen. Okay, brilliant. Everyone's got a pen. And very importantly, a pair of scissors. So if you don't have a toilet roll, but you've got a cardboard box, you can also make a rocket out of your cardboard box using the same technique. But because it's easier to see, I will be using the toilet roll tube today. So. Let me just, okay. Sorry, just trying to get a full screen, but I can't, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna just show you really close up on this little screen. So you've got your toilet roll. Your first step is you're going, ooh, where are all my bits? You are going to have to draw some shapes on your toilet roll tube. The first shape that you're going to draw is going to be the top of your rocket, which is a bit like a kind of semicircle triangle. Can you see that? So, can you draw that shape on your rocket? Hmm. 
Now, very good, everyone. Excellent, Lucy and Isla. That's brilliant. Okay. Now, it's an easy, easy next step because you're going to do the same shape but on the other side. So you'll be joining up your lines and doing the other end of your rocket. Now the great thing about this is you literally only need to use a toilet roll and scissors and a pen. You know, if you're going to decorate it, you might want to use more stuff, but this is going to be very simple for you to do. Okay, so once you've got that shape on, the next shape that you want to do is the window for your spaceship. Just a circle in the middle there. So, there we go. Wow, there is one little. Oh, okay, then the next bit that you need, everyone, is for the bottom bit, which will be, make the rocket launchers of your rocket. You're going to have to cut some little slots. So that's just going to be oh, two lines like that. Okay. Next, fantastic, Lucy. How, how's everyone doing? Great. Oh, brilliant, Joe. That looks great. Fantastic. Oh, everyone's doing such a good job. So now, slightly tricky bit, going to be some cutting. So you might want to get the adult with you to help you with this bit, everyone because you don't want to cut your fingers. So the easiest bit to cut are the two little slits at the bottom here. So you can just cut those. And then you're going to do each side of your toilet roll and cut out that bit. So let me see if I can. So we've got one. Now, don't throw this away because this is going to become your rocket launcher, but you, you need to cut out each bit on each side and save it. Once you've got your rocket shape like that very good then you're going to want to cut out the circle now this bit's a bit tricky so you definitely want an adult to do that bit for you it can kind of help if you pinch it a little bit like that and make a hole and then cut out Now, can you think of one very important thing that is missing from the rocket that it needs to help it fly? We've got the pipes at the end, but what does it need, do you think? No? It needs wings. So, the shape for your wings, if your circle, your window is on this side, you want your wings to come away from your circle and be shaped like that. Now you want to draw that on both sides of your rocket and then you just want to cut along the black line and still leave it attached. I'll show you. You might want to do the pinching technique to help you get into your toilet roll.
and you can pull it out and you've got one wing. Great, Joe. Excellent. So just do the same on the other side. Oh, everyone's working really well there together. And each time you do it, it gets easier to do. So, what we've got now is a rocket, and we've got these two bits to form the bottom. Now, what we can do is just slot these into the little, the little slits that you made in the bottom of your tube. So then, we've got the basis of our rocket. Now, I wanted to decorate my rocket. So we don't, we don't have exactly enough time to do that now, but I'm just gonna show you what I did. With my son, we painted these yellow, the bottom bits of our rocket, and we put glue on the inside and put strips of tissue paper. So I did that twice and that's the fire coming out of the rocket. So you can do that later. And then we painted our rocket blue and then I used a bit of gold card and made a nice gold window for it. So then I could just slot that in and that one too and make a rocket. And do you know what I realized? I realized that if I drew on my little finger, he could be my spaceman. So I put him in my rocket. Hello. So why don't you try making this rocket man? A spaceship at home too. I hope that you all managed to keep up. Oh, fantastic, Ali, you're doing such a good job. Oh, well done, Joe. Great. If you can send us your pictures on Facebook or on Instagram and tag Grand Junction, we would love to see your rockets. Well done, Shane and Lizzie and Isaac. Fantastic. So now I think we're ready for the next and final activity of our day. We are going over to Happy Lizzie for some disco dance. Number four. Hello. Ready, guys? Press button four. Go. <laughs> hey. Hello, 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 and welcome to our disco segment. This is Happy Lizzie here. And we're going to show you a dance that your parents might know. It's called the Macarena. That's the song that we just heard now. So you can get your adults up and tell them to get ready. Shake your limbs out so you can do the Macarena. Okay? All right. So my DJ is going to press the, the uh, second button for me. Oh. Sorry, the fourth button. Fourth button. Mm -hmm. And this is the dance. Hands, hands, shoulders, shoulders. Head, head, hips, hips, thumb, thumb. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, now what we're going to do, we found a new cool version where it's a bit faster, so a little bit more difficult. So we're going to play it for you, show you the moves, and then I'll take you through really slowly so you can learn it as well, okay? All right, cool. Bunny, you ready? Okay, Isaac, press the first button, please. Get ready. Cool. It's coming. Ready? Hey, super fast. How do we like it? Was it cool? Yeah? All right, excellent. So now I'm going to slow it down and take you through the moves step by step. Okay? So again, shake it out and get ready. Okay. I just Make sure you're finished. I'm just going to press the second button for me now. And I'm going to take you through the second. Ready? Oh, okay. 
So that's hands out in front, first your right hand, and then your left hand. And then you turn over your right hand, and then you turn over your left hand. Then your right hand will touch your shoulder, your left hand will touch your shoulder, your right hand goes behind your head, left hand behind your head, and then your right hand will touch your hip, and then your left hand will touch your hip, and then you will sap your side there, sap your side there, and then do a little drum roll. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to take you through that one more time just so you can get it, okay? That's it. Right hand out, left hand out, right hand turn, left hand turn, right hand shoulder, left hand shoulder, right hand head, left hand head, right hand hip, left hand hip, right hand bum. Left hand, thumb. A little drum roll. Okay. All right, we're going to try that now. So we're going to play at full speed. So try and catch up. All right, Isaac, if you can press the first button for me, please. Okay. Jimmy, you ready? Hey. Well done. Well done. Okay, so we're going to try that again. Okay, and don't worry, it'll take a little bit of practice, but we'll get there together, okay? So, DJ, hit me. Okay. One. Ready? Yes, well done, everyone. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, my gosh. You guys are perfect dancers. Okay. Now that we've had a little bit of fun learning a dance move, we're going to have a little bit of music and a dance just to finish things off. Yeah? A little boogie? That's it. Yeah. Boogie time. Boogie time. Okay. Ready? Okay. Tell me if you know this song. That's it. I was getting Saturday morning I hope you've learned something new and I hope you've got your hands moving and made something really creative and learned something new and exciting to share with your families while we're all stuck at home still yeah. um, please 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 go to our YouTube channel we are Grand Junction W2 we have loads and loads of amazing videos drama games and making activities they're all super easy to follow so please please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe now also, you can check out our website, grandjunction.org.uk. We'll see you all again on the 20th of June for another Saturday morning full of fun and activities. See you guys later. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.